CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration. The Manila Times entertainment and lifestyle pages come to life across all our digital platforms. Thank you for making us your Thursday night habit and clicking on us week after week for the hottest showbiz news. CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration. Now let's get on with this episode's winners and downers. The week that was saw more calm and bliss for newly married stars Matteo Bonicelli and Sara Geronimo after the actors slash triathlete slash military reservist personally confirmed on Instagram he and his wife are very happy and grateful for the outpouring of love and support from the public they caused a winning stir anew when they were spotted shopping in the home section of a luxury mall with no less than celebrity doctor Vicky Bello and her adorable daughter Scarlett Snow. That was fast. <laughs> Scarlett, you say congratulations. Scarlett, say congratulations. Kiss them. Kiss Tito Sar and Tito Mateo. Say congratulations. Hi. 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 Will unite for this beautiful couple. Let's watch this. About ilang gabi niyo? Eh, simply na biglas yan, biglas yan na kinasal si Sara, so typical na hindi sa kanila. Kasi sabi na naman siya, ayos mo niya. Kainin siya pa yan. Kaya gano'n na rin yan. Pero pwede din. Ngayon may ano na sila. Maayos na. Malapit na silang maayos lahat. Hopefully, hopefully. And by the way, CSI has a special spotlight edition coming up on Boss Vic very soon along with the Sunday Times Magazine cover where he talks not only about Sarah but the likes of Sharon Conetta, Regine Velasquez, and Curtis, and more. It was a huge downer for Mayward fans to learn that the taping of their idol's teleserie has been postponed because of the continuing threat of the novel coronavirus or COVID-19. Titled When We Fall in Love, my Mai Entrata and Edward Barber were all set to fly to Japan and shoot on location, but ABS-CBN prioritized the health and safety of the production. Apparently, the script is currently undergoing rewrites as the setting for the series has been changed to the Philippines. Still related to the COVID-19 problem, famous K-pop group BTS has cancelled their big concert in Seoul as cases of infection shot up in South Korea. A huge downer indeed, the group was supposed to perform in the capital's Olympic Center with an expected crowd of 200,000 people next month. In a statement, their management Big Hit Entertainment said that COVID-19 has made it impossible at this time to predict the scale of the outbreak during the dates of the concert in April. Now to wrap up this segment with a winner, we finally check in on Jasmine Curtis Smith and Rocco Nasino who are bringing on the Kilig as Captain Moira and Sergeant Diego of GMA Network's adaptation of the K-drama Descendants of the Sun. Surprised that their tandem has netizens all excited over social media, the pair play down suggestions that they're more of a hit than leads Ding Dong Dantes and Jenny Mercado, saying they're just the warm-up act for the show's big romance. Let's hear it from Jazz and Rocco.
Secret daw si Jego and Moira kaysa kay Big Boss and Mac. Ay, grabe na. Grabe naman. Ay, Cora. Yeah. Pantay lang. Thank you. Hmm, mas maraming kinikilig sa inyo eh. That's always cool. Diba? That's always cool. Na-appreciate namin yun. Pero, we think, ano eh, yung apat, sabay-sabay yung mga angat nyo yun eh. Talaga pinag-uusap. Oo. The more it unfolds, no, yung story, the more kasi, I think yung kilig nung dalawa, mas mamaya pa yan talaga mag, mag, ano, mapipiga eh from, from the both of them. So, si Moira at Diego muna daw habang yung dalawa eh, hindi pa nila alam anong gusto nilang gawin sa mga direction nila. Oo. Oh, oh. Parang boxing eh. Diba? Part. So, kayo yung prelude. Yes. Uh, pero for both stories, sa dalawang arco ng kwento, ano eh, Uh, kapag binabasa namin yung script, talagang pa-juicy ng pa-juicy yung mga, pati yung mga dialogue. Nakakatawa yung writers. Ganda ng mga ano. Pero, pag, pero sa, ano, sa social media, mas nagre-react talaga kay Diego at kay Moira ang karamihan mm -hmm. sa mga ano, reactions ng no, we, mga comments. We really appreciate that. Nakakatawa mm -hmm. yun. And that's it for winners and downers this week. Stay tuned for more. And you're back on CSI and thank you for staying with us. Joining me now is the ever sweet and ever smart Christina Alpad who is rocking a new look today. <laughs> Say hi to our CSIers, Tina. Hi, Misty. Hi, CSIers. And what do you have for us today? Misty, this week our report is certified special. After the success of her comeback teleseries Starla and the triumph of her big screen return Mindanao, which won her Best Actress Awards at the prestigious Cairo International Film Festival and the 2019 Metro Manila Film Festival, Judy Ann Santos says she is taking it slow this 2020. Enjoying her family life as always and some business endeavors, Judai, as she is fondly called in showbiz, has only signed up for one major project so far. What then is this very special project and why is it so important for Judai that she had to accept it in what could have been a year off the spotlight? Let's find out from Tina's certified CSI report. Well, ang nakalainap lang for now is the biopic of Mother Lily. Okay. Yeah, we don't know when and when it will start, but we are waiting for the look test, the script reading, um, the workshops. Yes. It's a big, you know, it's it's a big production. Mm -hmm. Kung baga sa ano, production number talaga siya. Yes. She is mother. Yes. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot give half only of the industry. You have to give the whole industry for you to be able to recreate the life story of mother. It's just taking a bit of time, but sa ngayon, one at a time lang hina ko. Kasi, una kayo ginakaya ng powers ko. Pangalawa, it's not fair if, you know, I do two, three things at the same time. Tina Pai, thank you for that report on the one and only Judy Ann Santos. So, I'm sure all the fans are very, very excited mm -hmm. that she'll be appearing in the biopic of no less than Mother Nidi Monteverde mm -hmm. of Regal Films. I'm sure they're kind of sad that you know, they might just see Judai in one movie the entire year. year. Oh, same as last year. But mm -hmm. what, it's really just that that she's doing for the rest of 2020? Uh, for now, palang po, wala pa pong ibang projects na nakasalang. Yung palang po yung sure. So, mm -hmm. but maybe we'll get to see her. We, we'll never know sa mga susun pong projects latter part of the year. But for now, fans can still watch her mm -hmm. kahit hindi sa big screen or sa TV screen sa YouTube naman po because she has her very successful YouTube channel and titled I Judai's Kitchen. So regular yun. How regular often po. have you been to the site yeah, and I just, how often does she mm -hmm. um, upload new, mm -hmm. new content? So she tries her best po to upload at least once a week and during the interview din dyan po medyo na-discuss niya ng content tungkol sa kanyang channel. Mm -hmm. At ang ginagawa pala niya eh, in one shooting day, pan 
pantay sa CSI, pero siya kasi, ang ginagawa niya, five or four episodes in one shoot. Recipes, different recipes. recipes so, shorts talaga. lang siya kung baga. Ah, medyo po. Opo, Oo. pero parang mga 30 minutes 30 at least minutes. then. And okay. then, hakot din naman talaga yung kanyang views because she has at least for now, more than 1 million subscribers wow, na. Wow, that's amazing. And of yes. course, Judy Ann talaga naman is, you know, I mean, she really trained um, yeah. in, in, in cooking, mm -hmm. no? And she even has a book, a yes. recipe book, that has gone even to the Middle East. Yes. Kaya, alam na alam natin na yes. marami talagang alam, no? Pagdating sa pagluluto, si, si Judy Ann Santos. Ann. Although she's very humble then also kasi kahit super positive ng kanyang channel, eh may mga bashers pa rin na discredit siya. Pero sabi nga niya, um, talaga hindi naman niya din kiniklaim na chef siya but she loves cooking. Oo naman. And Judy Ann Santos is Judy Ann Santos. Yes. I think the fact yes. that she's so interested and so into cooking yes. for her family. Yes. It's, you know, it's a really just shows how devoted she is to her three children and of course her husband, mm -hmm. diba? Mm -hmm. Ang nag-iisa? Ryan Agoncillo. Ryan Agoncillo. Na, na, kahit, kaya lang kahit anong luto naman ni Judah, hindi yata tumataba si, <laughs> si, si Ryan. Ryan, diba? But uh, uh, next project niya, patabain naman niya, <laughs> ang kanyang hubby. hubby. Okay? So uh -huh. thank you for that CSI report, Tina Pai. And uh, we'll see you a little later on CSI Exchange. back for another CSI report this time with a lovely and lively wow. Isa Iglesias very lively yes. Isa greet our CSIers hello hi CSIers and what hi, do you have C. for us this week Miss T ang report ko po for today a certified all around star one of the busiest and most beautiful leading ladies in Philippine cinema today is Lori Poe who keeps getting better and better movie after movie with three Best Actress and three Best Supporting Actress Awards under her belt, she certainly deserves her GMA Network title, Capuso Primera Actresa. In a matter of days, she's out to mesmerize moviegoers again with her dramatic and sensual trademark on the big screen with Hindi Tayo Puede, her very first project for Viva Films. And Lovie gets not just one, but two of today's hottest leading men in the movie. Tony Labrusca and Marco Gumabo. Hot, hot, right? Both younger than Lovie, how was it working with these boys? Lovie gives Isa the answer in this certified CSI report. Um, you know, it's super set up nilang katrabaho kasi very relaxed, very chill sila sa set. And alam, they're very, when they come on set, talagang prepared na sila. Um, it was just nice and very refreshing kasi na, um, iba yung, iba yung, syempre, for, we're from different networks and the fact na I, I was able to work with them, talagang masaya ako. And, yeah, what they bring in to this set is very, um, Light, yeah. So. Sinong mas sweet sa dalawa? They're both, they're both sweet kasi and friendly. Eh. Parang mabait sila sa lahat ng tao sa set. So, wala akong uh, masabing masama about them. Very professional pa. Tama na. Laging komportado yung tablet sa kanila sa mga intimate scenes <laughs> Um, to be honest, every every time you do intimate scenes, you're never comfortable naman talaga. Parang, it's something that you have to break into. But, um, after nun, like, nag-joke kami ni Marco na, after nung mga ginawa namin for the scene, is, sabi na namin, oh, nag-level up na yung friendship natin agad-agad. Just tumatawa na lang kami, because that's just how it is. But, what's nice about it is that, very respectful silang dalawa. You know naman eh, when someone's taking advantage of the situation. You, ako, I, what I felt is that we're with Direk Jualamangan. Direk Jualamangan won't take anything less than what's what he wants and what's real. So we have to give our best in every scene. Kasi nga, we want people to feel the love that we, we are feeling at that very moment for each other. Thank you for your report on Lovey. Thank you, Pumar. And um, I have to say, 
your photo with her on Instagram. <laughs> Talaga naman napakaraming likes, yes, di ba? Lovi is really looking mm -hmm. great these great days. And sexy. And yeah. um, that dahil lang ba yon sa hotty ang mga leading men niya? Mm -hmm. Or is there another reason naman in real life kung bakit siya blooming? Yeah, aside from Tony and Marco, in real life, mm -hmm. uh, very inspired si Lovi dahil sa boyfriend niya na British pero based on LA si Monty yes, ang si pangalan Monty. Yes. Montgomery Montgomery Blanco okay very he's a, yeah he's a oh. producer daw po and also a scientist Ito, sa wow. University of California producer na scientist scientist pa, pa. <laughs> and a movie producer ah yes diba? movie producer oh. and um kasi we've also si Kuya Larsen Tiago mm -hmm. of course our uh, Friday star columnist yes. in the entertainment section of the Manila Showbuzz. Times also wrote a little bit about this. Yes. And um, do you, parang she just returned yata from a yep. trip. From, Saan siya galing si uh, Lovie lately? Si Lovie nag-spend uh, po siya ng holidays until nung uh, New Year po with Monty sa US po. So. But according to uh, Kuya Lars' um, column, even if Lovie is busy, well, was mm -hmm. busy earlier in the year shooting her Viva Films movie. Yes. And hindi tayo pwede. pwede. Plus another one, I think, for one of the festivals mm -hmm. that's um, coming up in the summer. Uh, she really took a quick trip yep. to LA for mm -hmm. Valentine's for after Valentine's her birthday niya, oh. to spend time with Monty. Monty so yeah. they're really, really making this mm -hmm. long-distance relationship yes, work. And the yes. effort is from the both of them mm -hmm. flying back and forth. Yes, and diba? nakapunta na rin si Monty oh, dito. Oh. Namit na nila yung parents ng isa't isa. Oh, wow. So serious very stuff. yeah, oh, serious. Oh, oh. Pero um na uh, nagkakilala pa lang sila 2 years pa lang and then more than a year na daw sila in a relationship. Pero ano ba? Si Valovi is I don't know how old she turned on her last birthday. Uh, 31. 31. Yes. Is she thinking of of getting married mo kasi na sila ha. Natanong po 'yan uh -oh. pero sabi ni Lovey na uh, nagbi-build muna sila ng foundation. Mm -hmm. Tapos um, yung marrying age naman daw wala sa edad basta mahanap mo lang yung tamang tao sa iyo. Tamang tao and tamang, and tamang time. time. Correct. Uh -oh. And I guess um, I think her I think her movie career is mm -hmm. really really thriving so yes. sunod po talaga ang movies niya. Mm -hmm. Kaya we're really very happy for yes. Lovey. Not just for her career, but her love, love life. life. Diba? Parang Tama ikaw po. lang. <laughs> blooming din blooming sa love life. Blooming din at blooming sa love life. Thank yes. you very much, Isa. Thank and we'll po. see you later on CSI Exchange. Thank you, Mr. Thank you and we'll be right back. Welcome back and you're still watching CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration, the Manila Times Entertainment and Lifestyle pages come to life on the Manila Times digital platforms. Before I continue, I just want to give a special shout out to the grade 12 students of NTC who are currently here for their internship at the Manila Times newsroom. They're joining us today and just observing how we kind of do things here for our online show. And I hope we get to inspire them a little so that they carry on with their journalism interest. For this episode's T-Zone, it is my pleasure to finally bring on the show a woman of inspiration, Rhea Tan, who with just 5,000 pesos started the manufacturing and direct selling personal care brand Beautyderm Corporation. Today, her company is one of the most successful beauty brands in the Philippines with no less than 50-something celebrity ambassadors helping her out. Top dramatic actor Carlo Aquino is one of Ray's beauty derm babies and has been for years, which is why the T-Zone asked them what makes their partnership work. Let's hear it straight from Ray and Carlo in this episode's The T-Zone on CSI. Welcome to this episode edition of my column on the Manila Times, The T-Zone on CSI. I'm so excited to have one of my idols here today on wow. the show. I've always said that she's much younger than me, but she's already accomplished so much in her personal life, in her career, and the best thing about it is she shares it with everyone. And she's sharing also with us 
one of her top endorsers on the show. We're very lucky to have the one and only, the noted and talented Carla wow. Aquino. Good afternoon, Paul. Good afternoon. Yes, and um, thank you for uh, sparing a little bit of your time with us today. Miss Ray, before we continue, you were saying earlier, despite the fact that it's successful na po ng youth, there are many people who don't know, and I doubt that. But just very briefly for our viewers on CSI, please tell us what your company is all about. Um, ang mission vision ng company po natin is literally, kaya lagi mo yung hashtag is to change lives. Kaya sila po yung mga ambassadors ko ang uh, tumutulong sa akin para sabihin sa buong Pilipinas at sa buong mundo na itong negosyo po na to ay hindi lang nakakapagpaganda, nakakapagpagwapo, kundi iniiba po nila ang, ang buhay. Yeah. Ang ginagawa po ni Ms. Ray through her products and of course through her sellers and, and resellers, her agents, she extends yung kanyang, um, you know, like how she values family yes. sa kanila para ma-beautify din mga buhay nila. Exactly. And she also extends that kind of of um, of care sa kanyang mga endorsers. So, Carlo, if you can just tell us briefly, how did you meet Achi? Your, your one and only Achi, na mahal na mahal ka. Everyone, no, through a common friend. Oh, 2013, uh, may parang party, tapos nakilala ko siya. Yes, yes, sa Tagaytay. Nakilala ko siya doon. Tapos, kasi si Achi, ang magaan sa loob, magaan kasama, yung ganun. Kaya parang sabi ko, mabuting tao talaga. Tapos ever since yun, nagkaroon na kami ng contact, hindi na kami, di ba? Ever since, uh, ang bilis niya mga ngayon. Mm -hmm. And parang, you know, the way the public at least sees Carlo na medyo mysterious and serious for him to actually embrace somebody and open his, you know, life to you must be so talaga. Bakit mo? to work with artists. She's almost she's wrote to 100 po ang gustong mangyari ni Miss Ray Tan. Gusto niya magkaroon ng 100 celebrity endorsements and she's almost there but what makes it work? I mean managers nga minsan don't even get along with their talents but you seem to get along with Carlo Aquino with Lorna Tolentino, Gabi Concepcion. What makes it work? Ano mo me? What you see is what you get kasi ako. So, kung mahal ko, pinapakita ko talaga sa sa kanila. Parang kapatid ang... More than the business, parang importante sa kanya yung makapag-build nga ng relationship sa mga tao sa paligid niya. But she's president and CEO, Carla, di ba? Minsan, maybe like Miss Charo in ABS. Parang meron kang some, di ba? Parang ting... But with, with, with the Ray as a lady boss, kamusta naman siya? Separate from your friendship? Hindi ko, uh, hindi ko nararamdaman. Hindi. Hindi ko nararamdaman na boss ko siya. Very grounded, makikipagkulitan. Siya very, very open nga siya. Kapag may tampo, may sasabi. So, family. Love, 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 love. Kapatid po talaga yung turing ko sa kanya. Considering na wala din akong kapatid na lalaki. Kaya yung mga, even ngayon mga kahit 25, 30 years old, gusto ko nga tinatawa kong mami kasi feel na feel ko. Parang gusto ko maging nanay to. May nanay ba na ganyan ang waist? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mamaya na lang yun after. Share with us your diet secrets. But what was the product that you've asked Carlo to endorse all over again for you? Uh, nauna kasi ma'am dati sa bun. Mm -hmm. Sa mga facial wash. Ngayon naman ma'am dati. Siyempre mas magandang i-represent nila ang Ben's product. So, kaka-renew niya actually ng contract niya. Sabi ko, bunso dito naman. Okay. And how much do you love the charcoal charmer and the spruce and dash line, Carlo? Lagi kong ginagamit. Sabi nga niya kanina. Kasi nga, nakakapagtanggal siya ng excess oil na ganyan. Tapos natanggal niya yung mga club pores. Tsaka matipid nga. Manipis na manipis lang yung ilalagay mo. Okay na yun. Diba? Cool na cool. Man na man. Relax. Kasi talaga siya man. And bagay-bagay. Bagay talaga. Because it's so manly. So, if you could just invite our friends to, you know, Join the Buterm family and then maybe Carlo to support your new product and of course your show. Uh, our viewers on CSI would love to hear that. Yes po, sana masuportahan niyo. Siyempre ang Buterms, Bruce and Dash, yung charcoal collection namin. Uh, tsaka siyempre po ang Soldier's Heart. Gabi-gabi po yan. Thank you. And madam.
Sam. How do we join your growing family of beauty? Uh, hello everyone, you can follow us on Facebook, that's Beauty Derm Corporation, or on Instagram, it's Beauty Derm Corporation. At saka, search nyo lamang po sa Facebook, marami pong lalabas kasi we have thousands of resellers worldwide. Yeah. Thank you so much and may you beautify more and more YouTube lives. Channel. You also have our YouTube channel, we just launched it last week at Sina Marina Una Nila. Subscribe to Oh yes, I know the big TV. Wow. Oh my god. But again, thank you for sparing us your time and also such a busy day. But may you continue both of you to beautify more lives. Thank you very much. We'll be right back on CSI. Thank you. Change time, and of course, I'm bringing up the girls to discuss this week's hot topic. Uh, please welcome back Tina and Isa Pai, and of course, our ravishing researcher <laughs> Nika Rocky. Yeah. Hi, Nika. Hi, Nika. Hi, Nika. Hi, yes, yes. Okay. Cheers, Nika. Cheers. 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 A heartthrob. <laughs> Girls, what do you think about it? Because I read one of the tweets, si Karen Davila tweeted, ha ha ha, true. Uh, Carla Katig back is the newest heartthrob. So, <laughs> sino pa? Who else did you see on Twitter saying that Carlo Katibak is a hottie. Have you found the no mga mga celebrities? Ikaw mo yes. Ikaw mo na. Then do you see Nika? Sige, ano siya nag-tweet po na? Sa akin po si Alex Gonzaga na ba? So, okay. yung tweet niya na parang I'm sure funny to. <laughs> magaan yung loob niya pala kay uh, Sir Carlo Kadigba. Kasi daw, kahawig daw niya yung boyfriend niya na si Fiancé. Mikey. Uh, Fiancé na. Oh. Si Mikey Morada daw. Kasi syempre yung may glasses, yeah. his clean look. So, yeah. parehong pogi daw. Well, you guys have a certain <laughs> But yung ang tawag doon sa akin may dating. May dating. The way he looks, the way he carries himself. Mm -hmm. Pero, uh, magkakasawa na naman si Alex eh. So, <laughs> plus, 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 <laughs> meron ding balita oh, si Vice may, Ganda. Medyo oh. sad na balita. Para sa mga katigbackers. Yun yung tawag nila. Katigbackers. Si Vice Ganda, kinonfirm niya na sad to say may asawa na daw oh, si Carlos. Ba? So, yung mga nagkakrush dyan, oh, oh. sinabi niya po ni Vice Ganda, off limits. Yeah. Katig bakers lang mo na tayo Of course, it's Vice Ganda's ano comedic way of yes. thanking everybody for uh, supporting mm. ABS-CBN at this trying time. Pero sinabi niya, ayaw raw niya sakta ng mga puso. <laughs> yes. Diba? <laughs> Pero meron namang iba rin tweet. Ni Kapay, ano naman ang na-research mo na interesting tweet para taog na naman yung mga. Slim, <laughs> ano? Um, actually, ma'am, si Angel Oxin po sa Instagram siya nag-post. Um, kasama niya si Carlo Katigbak and iba pang ABS-CBN bosses. Sabi niya, ganyan po talaga sila kahit off-cam, sobrang humble, sobrang bait. Mm -hmm. so, well, I, I think talagang they really made an impression uh, in the Senate. Of course, the coverage was Yes. Uh, full force and ABS-CBN. Well, just to let people know what's going on from their end, and, you know, marami rin naman dyan issues na, na, you know, na, na thresh out, but we'll try not to get into all of those things. Ang pahuusapan ng talaga natin ay ang mga katigbakas. <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw ba, Ina, <laughs> Ano sa tingin mo? Anong appeal niya? Carla Katigba? Ako, personally, napopagian din ako. <laughs> Sorry sa ano ah. So, one to ten. So, one to ten. Gano'ng pagpapugli ano sa kanya? Mga nine. Kasi merong ten eh. Ay! Naklaan. Nanonok siya. Number ten. Ikaw. Ikaw. Baka naman nine ka rin at may nanonood din. What do you think is the, you know, like the come on or the appeal of a 
Carlo Katim. I think it is yung ano po, dignified way niya of yeah. answering questions sa Senate. Oh. Very smart din kasi. Mm-hmm. Kaya hindi nakakapagtaka na ang dami na gain na admiration mm-hmm. or admirers. And parang the, his voice was calm. Yes. Was yes. Out. However, yes. however many questions yes, came his yes. way, he was really able to uh, answer them calmly and eloquently articulately. Yes. Siyempre na may mga guys na ganyan talaga namang may dating. Uh, ikaw naman, papay, baka naman sabihin mo, I don't see anything. Ano, ano, ikaw? Do you I... see it? Ikaw, <laughs> <laughs> ba? Nakakikilig ka na a little bit? Siyempre <laughs> 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 naman. Wow! Kaya ako pala, ganyan ka pala. Ikaw, sige na day. Nakakolors na tayo ng ABS. Oo nga. ABS. Siya ano ah. Oo nga. Well, for you, naman, Kapai, what's the attraction for Kara Katipa? Um, I agree with Ate Tina. No. <laughs> 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 Ate Tina, 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 Ate way of speaking. Tas parang, pinrove niya na hindi mo kailangan maging super extravagant para makagawa ng statement. Tina, Ate Tina, Ate Tina, Ate not too many frills. No, okay. talagang straight just, to the point. Straight to the point. Said what you had to say. But um, you know, the reason why we decided to uh, just talk about that side of the, the franchise renewal is just because para lang yung natin ang fun. Ang mm-hmm. tuloy tuloy na nangyayari na medyo medyo de ba people are at the edge of their seats about the renewal of ABS-CBN's franchise. Of course, we hope that everything will turn out well at the end. Uh, and for CSI Exchange and Burrow ng mga katibakers. <laughs> uh, yan po muna from us. We'll be back for more on CSI. Thank you. CSIers, we've come to the end of our jam Pack program once again and we hope you enjoyed watching the show. And as always, thank you to my hardworking team, Arlo, Tina, Isa, and Mika, Director Shella Cancel, Master Editor Neil Reyes, and the wonderful crew from the Manila Times TV for our super smooth shoot today. Thank you also to my good friend, celebrity hair and makeup artist Bambi Fuentes, and Chris Reynes of Timog Salon for my hair and makeup. And to the ever kind Jenny Santa Cruz, founder of Makeup Reborn Studio, and her team for prettying up the CSI staff as usual. Click on the links below to learn more about Bambi Fuente Salons and Makeup Reborn. And of course, don't forget to click us again next Thursday on the Facebook pages and YouTube channels of the Manila Times and the Manila Times Digital TV. You can also view the show on www.manilatimes.net. See you next week, everyone. Bye! See you!